Hello, today's devotional can be found in Mosiah chapter 2, verse 23. And now in the first place he created you and granted unto you your lives, for which ye are indebted unto him. Alright. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ both participated in the creation of everything. As did Michael, who was later called Adam. We were created on earth to be able to have experiences in bodies that we couldn't otherwise. That is called our mortal life. Being born, growing, and having experiences that would give us wisdom and exposure to knowledge and opportunities to use our agency. All those things are part are part of mortal life. And there's a little tiny thing called the fall. It's because Adam and Eve took the fruit. They were dismissed from the Garden of, garden of Eden into the loan, into the world. Because the Garden of Eden, well, it's kind of like an, an ancient temple. But it, they were dismissed after eating the fruit and hence they fell into a state of imperfection. And men lived in a fallen state for many, many generations until Jesus Christ came and saw the need for our souls to be bought out of spiritual death and hell. So he he came down to earth himself, was born, grew, and eventually suffered and was crucified for the world's souls. He bought our souls out of hell with an act of mercy, satisf satisfying the need for justice and giving us justice and that we were we are now able to repent and do better instead of having our sins and Adam's condemn us because I learned this at General Conference that the atonement help fixes two things the sins of Adam and our sins so basically in a sense our lives were granted unto us that we might be able to do what we choose that our good works would mean something but we are also indebted to Christ because he is the creditor of our souls and we can never pay him back we can only do our best to be like him by helping others and being kind and good and doing all that is right in the sight of God and Jesus Christ. And we shouldn't be afraid to do good. We shouldn't be afraid to make the most of mortal life in terms of doing good. Because mortal life is temporary, but what we do, our memories of it, remain with us forever. And we should never forget that. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.